Hey, great to have you with us again this year at 2011's Intersolar North America Conference. As you can see around me, there are lots of excited attendees. Over the next four days, they will receive tons of vital information about everything going on in the solar industry right now. Take a look at the facts for this year's conference. Intersolar North America Conference is again taking place at the Intercontinental Hotel in San Francisco. It offers over 200 world-class speakers, 30-plus conference tracks, and more than 1,600 conference attendees. Impressive numbers that speak volumes to the popularity of this event. Well, this year's conference is again a record Intersolar San Francisco. It has reached the same size as Intersolar Europe in Freiburg 2007, when it had grown so large that it had to move to Munich. So I'm sure it will continue to follow this example and continue to show this record growth in the years to come. The Intersolar North America Conference serves as a guide of the dynamic U.S. market. Attendees of this four-day event gain exposure to the highest quality of information that they use to make the right decisions for their company. So it's only the first day of the conference and already we're jumping into one of the most important topics within the solar industry today, policy. The U.S. market has never seen so much growth in one year as it did in 2010 with over 950 megawatts of installed PV, totaling $6 billion. This year, it's again expected to double. California has been a leader in renewable energy, actually since Governor Brown was governor in the 1980s, and we expect the uh, Clean Energy Jobs Plan to be providing new market opportunities uh, for rooftop solar, as well as uh, ground-mounted, uh, bigger projects, as well as uh, utility-scale solar as well in California. Based on these factors, Ms. Marks has a positive outlook on the market. We expect the market to continue to grow. Uh, Cal Calcia, the Solar Energy Industries Association here, uh, you know, we want to see a sustainable solar market in California, and government policies are critical. Uh, but also the industry itself can do a lot to, to sustain the development and consumer interests. In today's U.S. solar market, there is perhaps no topic more important than policy. Energy policy is influenced by many stakeholders. It's here where these groups come together to share information and develop the strategies that will take this dynamic industry to the next level. Another topic of this year's conference is energy storage. So let's sneak in there now and have a listen. With the ever-increasing aspects of solar energy connecting to the grid, many new questions are emerging. Two answers, smart grids and storage. Storage has the potential to help accelerate the adoption of photovoltaics and solar. It does this by optimizing our investments in our electric power infrastructure. When the system's more efficient, you can put more PV into the system, and it makes the PV higher value. This isn't the only topic where the California Energy Storage Alliance is hard at work on. In our mission is um, the explicit goal of accelerating the adoption of renewables in California. And to do that, we're active in every application across the entire uh, energy regulatory framework. The InterSolar North America 2011 conference presents a complete overview of the state-of-the-art technology emerging in the U.S. market. Bringing together the stakeholders of the industry is the best way to drive markets. That's why you see me surrounded by the top decision makers within policy, the solar industry as well as media representatives. What an enlightening evening so far. We'll see you tomorrow for the first day of Intersonar North America 2011. Mmm, great.